Hey there, welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, we're going to discuss oil pan swap kits when it comes to the BMW S62 engine. As you can see here, I have an S62 engine currently installed into my BMW E46. You will commonly come across swap oil pans and kits whenever you're trying to research topics on how to swap these into these cars. Now, I am by no means rich. I am not well off. So for me to for me to even afford this power plant, I really had to work my ass off. And I was very very close to driving this to driving this car for the first time. I was merely hours away. It came time for the first attempt to reach operating temperature. There were multiple startups before that. Engine was fine, oil pressure seemed fine. During that first operating temperature, once the engine got once the engine got a little bit warm, completely lost oil pressure. That is something you never want to see. Very scary, especially after going through an engine like this, refreshing it, and putting it into your car. We're going to discuss common issues that I, along with various people around the globe, have had with this exact oil pan when it comes to the S62 engine. Okay, so here we have the oil pan from a company called Cybill. They are known to offer the swap kit for the S62 engine because it accommodates the original oiling system. But the overall quality and precision that they offer, it falls very, very short and it could potentially cost you an engine. I am not sure how damaged my engine actually is yet. Hopefully not at all, but it could have been very bad if I was, if I was driving the car, okay? Now, the first thing I will say is on the website, they claim that this oil pan is all aluminum construction. It is lightweight. I assure you that this is actually all steel. This is not aluminum. This is a steel oil pan. Here, I have a magnet. See that? It sticks right to it. It is not aluminum. Another thing that I'm not fond of is you have these feed tubes right here, which supply oil to these oil solenoids, also commonly referred to as scavenging pumps. Now, as you can see, they start off as metal pipes at the bottom of the pan and two right here on the top of the pan. They are metal. They run a few inches here and they are now a silicone hose conjoining two pipes together. Now, personally, I do not care how oil resistant these hoses are claimed to be. I don't care how good of silicone it is. You cannot tell me that having these hoses continuously submerged in oil is a good idea. So I could imagine that these hoses right here, they will slowly degrade and break down releasing rubber all throughout the oiling system. Terrible idea. So now we will talk about the precision of how this oil pan is made. The oil pump is going to mount onto this little flange right here. It then supplies the engine with oil through this bigger tube and through the smaller one right here, okay? Now, very commonly, this flange is not welded in the proper position. It can be angled downward, upward, off to the side, which in return really throws off the oil pump in terms of proper alignment. That can mess with the chain slack, that can mess with the position of those oil scavenging pumps, which come through these tubes here and go into the oil pump. I will show you an example here in a little bit of what I'm talking about. And sometimes this post over here is too high or too low. This is also where the oil pump bolts to. It uses three bolts here and just it kind of mounts in there. And also this pan, the spacing from here to here is way too tight. The oil pump would barely fit into this freaking oil pan, okay? Furthermore, this oil pan is missing a baffle, which goes right here, and it is missing the power steering pump bracket which should be right here on this surface. Now, back in the day, Cybill was reliable. When they first debuted this swap kit, there was no problems. I personally know somebody, I think he lives in Germany. He helped with the design and development of the first oil pan swap kit. And seven years later, his is still totally fine. Today's day and age, you cannot trust these oil pans. There are various issues, like me having a loss of oil pressure, I am not the only one. Welds cracking, that is also happening, and having issues with everything sealing up and not leaking. That has been noted by me and other people too. The loss of oil pressure is the biggest problem and it should not be a common thing at all. You buy these swap kits to make your job easier. They should not be a headache. I'm going to show you the second oil pan in which I was sent. This first one, I obviously complained because it was missing things. So they sent me a second one. 
which is right here. Now we can take the time to compare their quality control. This second oil pan, what do you see different? Completely metal feed tubes for those oiling solenoids. That is the first thing I noticed, which I prefer obviously having full metal there. The second thing you'll notice, this one actually includes the power steering pump bracket right here. It came on this one. Awesome. Additionally, they also included the baffle on this pan. However, this oil pan had one huge flaw. Everything else was going great for it until I want to put in the oil pump. This mounting flange was way off. There, there was up to a two millimeter deviation in how level the surface was. That may seem small, but when it comes to an oil pump, every millimeter matters. If you are off by one millimeter, you are messing with the alignment of a lot of parts because the S62 being so sophisticated, all the parts must align properly. Here is that smaller tube I was telling you about. A compression fitting conjoins it. This goes to the engine block. This right here is a common issue which causes oil pressure loss because it does not fit tightly into the block. They sometimes supply you a too short of a tube which will allow oil to bleed past. This will be positioned down into the block. So that can cause oil pressure loss. This flange not being true to the oil pump will cause pressure loss because the oil pumps are designed to seal up, I believe the term is hydrostatically, with no gasket. I had to have this flange modified and brought up and leveled out. I also made my own gasket in here. It was just a lot of time wasted trying to make something work. All the red flags were there from the, from the very start. Now that you've seen these oil pans side by side, that tells you the workmanship, it widely varies. These oil pans are built in-house at the facility, by the way. So that just tells you the wide variation of build quality and of who's making them. Now, their swap kit includes much more than just the oil pan. I cannot show everything because I have some of the parts still onto the car, like the engine mounts, the subframe. Even that stuff, sometimes there's variation in engine height. I, I had one guy in particular from Spain. I talked to him a lot, and his engine was tilted because the engine mounts weren't made properly. It is just one thing after the other that can go wrong with this company. Here is another component. This is a harmonic balancer or crankshaft dampener. It bolts to the front of your crankshaft. This one here is way smaller in diameter to help clear the oil pan when it comes to the front of the crankshaft of the S62. These do not come properly balanced, as per some people told me, so I did not trust this either. I had the original crankshaft dampener. I had it machined down. Do you see a pattern here? The entire swap kit is questionable, okay? Now, moving on to the oil pump, which needs modified to use this swap kit. I will say that the idea is pretty ingenious. You basically take the oil pump and you run the sprocket on the opposite side. From factory, the sprocket for these pumps is right here, okay? It's on this side. They take this oil pump and they install it backwards into the oil pan and run a oil pump shaft through the pump in the opposite direction and put the sprocket on the back side. It works out great as long as everything is in the proper position. Now, another common issue is the included oil pump shaft, which you can see there, it runs through the whole pump. It can come to you not machined properly. That happened to me as well. It was not machined properly where for the nut or sprocket, so the nut was getting way too tight before even touching the sprocket, leaving my sprocket very loose. My friend from Spain, his oil pump shaft, it was not keyed properly. Inside of these pumps, you have three rotors which pump oil through the engine. The two smaller ones, they use a wood rough key and they did not machine those key slots properly. So yeah, it's just a, it's just a mess. They do supply you with a brand new genuine chain tensioner, which is pretty cool. But overall, I will never use this kit again. So here you can see these oil solenoids here. They go into the pump right here, okay? There's two of them. And they insert like that into the pump. Now, if the oil pan is not constructed properly, I will show you what happens. Okay, so here's the oil pump into the oil pan. Here are the tubes for these solenoids. If the oil pump is off, these oil scavenging pumps, they will not go in smoothly into the pump at all. They will need fought in to enter the oil pump. 
which in return can gouge the O-ring that is on both sides of the pump here and over there. It can also mark up the snout of the scavenge pump. These are tight going into even the stock oil pan because of these three O-rings right here. But if the oil pump is not aligned properly, you come to the last part where it has to enter the pump, that is going to throw off the alignment of this part. So the precision of the parts for the S62 is very important. So whenever you buy one of these oil pans, if this flange right here is off, you make corrections so the oil pump fits properly. But then what? You totally throw off the alignment of these. So yeah, between parts not fitting properly, things not sealing, false claims, and overall just terrible worksmanship, I cannot recommend Cybill at all. Do not buy their swap kits. So when it comes to overall quality and fitment of the Cybill S62 oil pan swap kit, it is absolutely terrible. I was not expecting to face such adversity from a component kit that is guaranteed to solve all my issues. It is terrible. I learned a very valuable lesson when it comes to aftermarket parts, potentially a $10,000 lesson. It just feels flat out wrong having to install such inferior parts onto a engineering marvel such as the S62. And they say their parts are tested. I would like to see what they do in the scenario that their own parts don't fit. What do they do? Are they modifying every single oil pan they make? You should not have to do that. You should not have to make modifications to a part that is specially made. The whole thing is just wrong. It's absolutely freaking terrible. And I'm more pissed at the fact that it's not only me out there, but it's lots of other people. Lots of them. Cybill of Poland. I am very dissatisfied with your product that I bought from you. You had two attempts to make it right. And I was left with an engine with no oil pressure as it was running. Quite honestly, it makes me sick to my stomach knowing that I had this engine on a stand, all apart, refreshing internal things, the rod bearings, timing chain guides, all this stuff, only for it to possibly be damaged due to other people's incompetence. That is, it is just, it's really disheartening. I am just very disappointed. I'll just leave it at that. That is all for tonight's video. Hopefully you enjoyed the content. I didn't uh, necessarily enjoy talking about this, but the information needs to be put out there. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video. Catch you later.